Hello everyone, this is a video tutorial about simulations of turning operation in Creo. After watching this video, you will be able to perform simulations of area turning, profile turning, taper turning and crew turning. First of all, let us learn what these operations are about. So beginning with what is turning. Turning is a form of machining or a material removal process which is used to create rotational parts by cutting away unwanted materials radially. It is generally performed on a lathe machine or a turning center wherein the workpiece is clamped to the spindle and it rotates and the cutting tool is moved parallel to the axis of rotation. Area turning. Area turning is when large material removal has to take place to obtain required contour. So here instead of directly cutting along the final profile, the material is removed by taking several cuts and a profile close to the required is obtained. This operation is similar to rough machining. Profile turning. Profile turning is cutting the exact profile along the workpiece to obtain final part. This operation is similar to finishing. Taper turning. Taper turning is when there is gradual and continuous reduction in the diameter of a cylindrical workpiece. Groove turning. Groove turning is the operation of forming a narrow cavity of certain depth on a cylindrical workpiece. Having the basic understanding of all the turning operations, we shall now move towards the simulations of these operations in Creo. Here I am using Creo Parametric 5.0. The home window of Creo appears like this. From the top left corner in the menu bar, click on New to start with a new project. Enter the manufacturing mode and give an appropriate file name and click on Uncheck Default Template because here the default template uses the unit system of inches while we are working in millimeter system. So uncheck the default template and click on OK to select the working template. Here we will select MMNS which stands for millimeter newton seconds. This is the working space of Creo and the interface would appear like this. To perform manufacturing operations, we will have to obtain a reference model. For that, click on reference model and select assemble reference model. Here I have created a reference model by using the 3D modeling tools of Creo such that all the op operations of turning will be performed on the workpiece to obtain this final, uh, final model. Here the model obtained is unconstrained. Therefore, we will have to set the reference which we will set it to default and therefore the model obtained is now constrained. So we will click on done and this is the working space of Creo. Now the first step is to define a datum coordinate system with respect to our workpiece and the operation to be performed. Therefore, press on the coordinate system and select the reference plane. Now choose a point on this plane such that it is on the center of the plane. For doing this, we will set the offsets of this point from the coordinate axis to, to 0. To set this offsets to 0, we can move these pointers on the lines of the coordinate axis and set this offset values equals to 0. These two pointers help to set the offset to zero. Now we will get a workpiece to perform operations and make it as per our reference model. For that, click on workpiece and select automatic workpiece. Now we will select the datum surface to place the workpiece and select cylindrical workpiece and click on done. Now to perform our turning operations, we will select our working center as lathe. These are the parameters and clicking on OK, we have entered the lathe machine mode. Now we will define our operation. For that click on operation and here we will have to select the reference point or the part 0 for, for uh, doing our operations. For selecting that, we can select the coordinate system defined by us and click on done. Now after doing this, a turn window will appear and to, to perform the turning operations, enter the turn video, turn window. 
first of all we will be performing the area turning then the profile turning and finally we will be preparing this groove so to begin with area turning click on area turning the first step is to select the tool here the dimensions or the parameters of tools can be, tool can be modified click on apply and select the tool now we will have to define the turn profile or the profile through which the area turning should take place for that click on geometry and select turn profile now creo offers a turn profile but here we will perform the screwing operation at a later stage therefore we will create our own turn profile for that click on use sketch to define turn profile and click on create sketch now here we will have to select the reference plane and click on sketch now by using the sketching tools we will create a turn profile of our convenience for that select line and create a turn profile as per the requirement Now the next step is to define the tool motion. For that click on tool motion, select area turning cut. Now we will have to select the turn profile. So choose the required turn profile. And next step is to select the parameters. These are the cutting parameters. The cut feed is the speed of the cutting tool. The step depth is the distance between two adjacent cuts. And there are other several parameters which can be modified otherwise the creo takes its default values now preview the tool motion by clicking on the preview button and play the tool path Preview the tool motion, adjust speed and preview the tool path for any obstructions. If the tool motion is perfect, click on close and uh, select done so that the area turning will be defined. The next step is to perform the profile turning. For that click on profile turning, select the tool. Now the next step is to define the tool motion. For that click on tool motion, select profile turning cut. Now we'll have to choose the turn profile as per our requirement, set the parameters and click on OK. Preview the tool motion. And check for any obstructions. If it is correct, click on done. This will save the profile turning. Now we will be performing the groove turning or the grooving operation for this select groove turning the first step is to define the tool for that click on tool 
modify the parameters if required click on apply select the tool now we'll have to define the groove turning profile for that click on geometry select proof turn profile and define the start and end points for the grooving operation Now we will have to define the tool motion. For that click on tool motion, select groove turning cut and select the turn profile. The turn profile 2 is the profile we have defined for grooving. Here in grooving there is an important consideration. Here we have to define the direction of, of the material removal. These two arrows define the direction for material removal. So that therefore make sure that both of these arrow point upwards which would signify that the material removal has to take place above these two points and between these two points. Click on done. And preview the tool motion. Click on done and save the groove turning profile. In Creo, we can also see the simulation for the material removal process. For this, go to any operation. Let's select area turning. Go to the edit mode. And in the simulation, select material removal. This will take to the material removal simulation window of Creo. Select the precision level and click on the start the simulation button. Click on play to view the material removal simulation. Thank you.